The most interesting um, development in this recently has been the mobile computing platform. And this, this was fascinating several years ago. It's becoming a little bit less fascinating now that we all have one of these in our pockets. But I remember it was actually in this room at HRU about, I don't know, four years ago, where somebody held up one of these devices and said, can you put Echolink on this thing? I thought, how ridiculous. Why would somebody want Echolink on their, on their phone? Um, but as with many things, it becomes less ridiculous over time. And now this is one of the most widely used ways to access Echolink. Uh, you think about these smartphones, they really are pocket computers. The fact that they can make phone calls is almost ancillary. Um, many of us use these a lot more than making phone calls. And uh, it really is a, a computer that has lots of capabilities, if you think about it. It has a fast CPU, a very sharp display, good battery life, completely portable. has radios in it for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and GPS um, and cellular. And it has a sound card, if you think of it that way, microphone and speakers. So it has all the pieces that you need for an Echolink client. Um, so lo and behold, I created Echolink for iPhone a number of years ago. Its appearance needs to be updated for iOS 7, but it will still work in iOS 7. Um, and this is just sort of a miniature version of a, sort of a subset of what the PC software can do. Um, it allows you to connect to um, Echo Link stations anywhere in the world from your pocket. The list of stations is shown on the right here, and then the main communication screen is shown on the left. You hit the transmit button to begin transmitting, and hit it again to stop. But first I'll mention there is also a version of Echo Link for Android, which is also quite popular, essentially functionally identical to the iPhone version. The iPhone version, by the way, also runs on iPad and iPod Touch. The smartphone editions have been downloading pretty rapidly, um, about 450 new installs per week of the iOS uh, version, and that's been going on for uh, several years now, and nearly 170,000 installs for the Android version, with about 76,000 currently active. Android will keep track of things that are uninstalled, so I can know that at this moment there's about 76,000 copies in the wild. <coughs> 